What's up guys? I am back at it again, spending more money than I need to. Um, first of all, let me update you about the booster box that I said that I was going to consider buying. Because I do need to start saving money, uh, I am in going to be in the process of buying a house, so I need as every bit of a dollar as possible. Uh, I am I, I am not going to be buying a booster box just yet. Um, it may be another month till I can uh, splurge a little bit on a box. Um, so for right now, in the in-between, uh, I am going to buy packs, yes. Uh, just <clears throat> not as as crazily as I have been. I have to try to control myself and, and slow down. But um, because I decided against it, I decided to kind of splurge just, just a bit today. Uh, I did get a Guzzlord box. And I also got, of course, because I really love this set, two Ultra Prism packs, because just I have to. I just had to. Now, <clears throat> interesting about this Guzzler box. Take a look at it first. Yep. Yep. You see it yet? No, you're not looking around. And no, I'm not holding it upside down. It was actually packaged uh, upside down this way. And I don't know how or why. Uh, but I thought it was neat and it was the only one like that so I figured why not just nab it and go ahead and and see maybe if it's the the lucky one so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and start opening this bad boy man this is shrink wrap too and everything Ooh. this I did not get it from Walmart uh, I got it from Target this time Target does have a lot more variety in stock than Walmart, in my personal opinion. Plus, you get to price match uh, at Target, and not so much at Walmart. But then again, Walmart's also somewhat cheap. <clears throat> okay, all right, all the packs are just falling out. All right, let me get this a little organized here. So, get my code card off to the side. <clears throat> packs off to the side here. Oh, man. <clears throat> all right, first of all, I guess we should show off the jumbo card. Now these have been pretty sweet. I don't, I can't recall which box had the the first jumbo card. I don't know when they started doing this. I, I actually probably look into that. Um, but some of these are really cool. I could go without some of them, but like the water ones, actually I do have a Primarina, Primarina Full Art one at home that I, I hang on to. And then I also have the Mega Sharpedo one, uh, just because I love my water Pokemon. Even though the Mar Mega Sharpedo is considered dark type in the card game, uh, I just love sharks. Sharks are my favorite animal, so I just went ahead and held on to that. But a lot of the uh, jumbo cards are really sweet, and I kind of want to get like mini frames for the ones that I do have, so that way I can kind of hang them on my wall but I gotta figure out which frames work best for that. All right, so here's the promo card that you get for it, the Guzzlord GX, and this is actually probably my favorite artwork for Guzzlord, because he's just like, it, it represents him so well. He's like munching and just swallowing everything in sight. I mean, there's like a truck that he's just gonna throw into his stomach, and it's pretty pretty sweet as I'm dropping it. Uh, and, and I liked how he was kinda, popular at the pre-release because you could make a, a troll deck out of him basically if you this would be the only pokemon you play and a whole bunch of energy because one of his attacks just feeds him with energy and all of his attacks just pretty much take up so much energy and then he like takes extra prize cards if you knock out one of your opponent's pokemon with his gx attack and and it's just absurd uh so it's pretty cool all right so the four packs that came in this one are oh that I, am I holding them upside down? Oopie. Let me, let me put them right side up. So we got the Fates Collide, Evolutions, uh, Crimson Innovation, and Burning Shadows. It should actually be this way then if we're gonna do it in, uh, in chronological order. So I'm actually gonna open up the Fates Collide. There's nothing I need from this set. So let's see what we do pull. Uh, the code card, I actually don't need this one. So if you guys want it, there you go. There is the code card. All right, I'll toss that out. Got a little garbage can now in my in my uh, thing. Now I think it's three to the front. 
three to the front. All right, let's see what we got. So Halucha N, which is good to always have, even though he's gonna get rotated out, unfortunately. Grayson, Snivy, Snubble. I wonder if the lighting, hold on, sorry, quick test. Uh, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Uh, Binnacle, I, I'm in a area with more street lights, so that's why it's a little bit brighter here. Meowth, Jigglypuff, Reverse Marowak, and our Hollow Rare, if not better, is a Mega Altaria Full Art. Very cool. I really like the, the Mega Evolution cards, um, especially with the Japanese writing uh, across from it, and it's because it's the name of the attack. So it's Miss Purge in Japanese. And I kind of liked uh, that the Japanese cards, the Japanese versions of these, actually had the English writing to it. I think it's a pretty nice touch, but that's actually pretty sweet. I don't think it's worth that much money. Sorry for the zoom in. I had to pick up a card. Uh, I don't think it's worth that much, but it's still an awesome card to have. And if I had to give a star card, you know what? I, I am just going to give it to that Mega Altaria because it is it is a pretty sweet looking card. So not too shabby, actually. Off to a very good start. <clears throat> Evolutions. Uh, what do I want from the, oh, if I could just pull a Mega Blast Twist Full Art. I have two of them, but I want a whole playset. So I want four, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Two, three, four. No. Th oh, yep, yep. It's three to the front, and I already messed it up. All right, so I know what it is, but you don't, so it'll be a surprise to you. All right, so we have the Slowbro Spirit Link, the Magmar, which is pretty cool. I like the art behind that. It's old classic style. Energy Retrieval, Rattata, oh, the cute little Vulpix, the awesome Electabuzz, the Magikarp, which is probably one of my favorite Magikarp arts. Ghastly, Reverse Charizard Spirit Link, and our rare is the oh, Nidokeen. Not too shabby again, and it's a holographic too. And I think I'm gonna give up my star card to that Nidokeen, uh, just cause it does look very, very cool. I like the holographic to it. I don't think it's attacks are that great. Uh, Tail swing, 100, attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench basic Pokemon, and then 40, depending Pokemon, yeah. Attacks aren't that great, but it, it looks like a pretty cool card. And I really like this uh, drawing of Nidokeen this way. Um, just reminds me from when I saw him in when I was playing red and blue back in the day when I was a kid uh, It's just uh, he just looks like like angry and like, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna kick some butt kind of thing because Nidokeen used to be It's actually probably still a, a, a fan favorite. All right, so I'm gonna open up burning shadows. So let me get it Sorry, I'm really really thirsty Burning shadows I was going through my list today to see what cards I still needed from certain sets and it looks like burning shadows I need like every single hyper rare I, don't, I think I have all the full arts I just need every single hyper rare so it's gonna it's gonna take me a while <clears throat> grass Kiawe uh, Rhydon Lunatone Mudbray Sock which I don't understand Togedemaru Wimpod Alolan Radata, Reverse Stuffle, and our rare is a Shinotic. So, <clears throat> our star card is going to have to go to the Kiawe. Kiawe is actually one of the coolest supporters that I think came out of Sun and Moon because the if you can just pull this off turn one, that you can have four fire energies straight off the bat on uh, probably your active, then you are just good to go to start like burning away your opponent no pun intended but I mean seriously four energies right off the bat and I know a lot of people do this with Turtonator GX and with Ho-Oh GX so it is an awesome supporter card and I'm really hoping that there's gonna be more um, more fire Pokemon that can take advantage of that so <clears throat> hopefully <clears throat> that trend will continue Okay, so last pack I'm opening up is the Crimson Invasion pack. I do need still quite a bit of cards from this one. So hopefully we get something good. Psychic, uh, Psychic Memory, Dashing Pouch, Kakuna, Ghastly, Corfish, one of my favorite water Pokemon, Minchino, uh, Weedle, Cubone, Reverse Execute, and a Alolan Marowak Holographic. 
I actually really like Alola Marowak. I'm glad that they finally put him in the set because people were asking for him for so long and it just took forever. So Star Card's gonna have to go to that Alola Marowak. It does have a pretty sweet uh, tech. It, it's a pretty sweet tech with a nice attack. Dance of Flames, uh, for each energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon, you get to attach a fire energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon any way you like. So it has nice uh, <clears throat> fire energy acceleration uh, in case you need that for your fire Pokemon decks. Two Ultra Prism Packs. Now, these felt pretty heavy. And I've, I've mentioned time and time after again in my videos that I buy individual booster packs when it's like, you know kind of really like off like it doesn't belong in those piles so funny enough uh, in a row whole like thing full of giratinas there was this only leafy on there and in a whole thing of uh, i think it was leafions there was just this dusk uh or dawn wings necrozma in there so i i just figured i had to get them they seemed off so i'm going to open you know i always open leafion before dawn wings I think I'm gonna do it the other way. I'm gonna open Dawn Wings first, even though in the end it doesn't matter because the pack art is gonna always be different, or, or it's usually different uh, than the inside, but this time it isn't. Dawn Wings actually had Dawn Wings in it, go figure. All right. <clears throat> Putting that there. Code card I need to hang on to. One, two, three, four. All right. Ooh, water energy. Hopefully that is a good sign of an awesome card in this pack. Orangaroo, Magneton, uh, Cherim, Stunky, Alolan, Vulpix, Eevee, Murkrow, Yanma, Reverse Magnemite, and our rare is a Weavile. Okay, it's a Weavile holographic, and I think I'm going to give my star card to this guy because he has a really, really nasty attack that um, I don't, I, there's not a lot of hype for this guy right now, and I think it's because he's he's got really low HP. 90 HP is not going to last at all, but if you can manage to pull off his attack, then you are going to dominate, because his attack does 50 damage for each Pokemon that has an ability, and every deck right now, like in the meta, just has, like, obviously Tapu Lele, then you have Zoroark, and people usually play like one or two of Zoroarks. And then sometimes there's Artillery or Rangaroo. So you're essentially already doing 200 for just one single energy. So it is just completely nuts. And, you know, eventually I, want, I would like to build a deck uh, around this guy on, P, on PTCGO. But <clears throat> it's just, I think the 90 HP is what throws people off because... It, you know, you do use it for that one attack and then it's just gonna be gone And if you don't have that consistency of having Weavile's out, then it's it's gonna, you know, really hurt you in the end Anyway Okay, last one Leafeon What is inside this Leafeon? It is, oh wow, that's two for two. Leafeon artwork in a Leafeon uh, Packaging They don't, that usually n doesn't happen that way all right, code cool card off to the side. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> and we have Grass, Perugly, Gardenia, uh, Skunk Tank, Eevee, Crogunk, Riolu, Turtwig, Salandit, Scorpy, Magnezone. That is our rare. Wow, I completely forgot like how many cards I went through. So that's why I was like, not like all suspense here. But uh, Magnus, Magnuszone holographic. That's actually that's awesome. I think I have like now two or three that are holographic. And <clears throat> even though I much prefer the reverse foils, regardless, uh, this is still a pretty sweet card. Obviously because of its ability. And I think that's gonna be my star card too. Yep, star card's gonna be that Magnuszone just because of that ability alone. I know a lot of people are playing it with the. Dusk main Necrozma, but I'm pretty sure there's gotta be a, another partner for it. All right, so to recap, we actually did very well. Now we didn't pull a whole lot of GXs or EXs. Um, it was really just a one, but we did 
walk away with quite a good number of holographics, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm trying to get it all together, make sure I'm not missing one. So we had, what, six packs, and we pulled, uh, out of six packs, we pulled four holographics and one full art mega evolution Pokemon. So overall, this is actually kind of worth it, I think. Um, I know probably monetary wise, like each card is not worth that much. I think the mega Altaria is probably just a few bucks, if I'm not mistaken, because no one really plays it. <clears throat> I don't know, I think it's all like a little bit of play, but it was kind of like done and over with. But overall, this is pretty sweet. Um, I like the pulls that I had. Uh, I think I have some good cards I could uh, easily trade uh, with other people and maybe get like better EXs and things like that. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, I definitely most likely won't have a, a video tomorrow uh, just because uh, my mom's coming into town and spending the day with me and my kids and and everyone else uh, because of my birthday she can't make it on Monday I have to go into work and then <clears throat> and then it'll just be too late for her to come afterwards because she lives like a couple hours away so she's coming tomorrow doing a whole little family thing for me and then Monday is my birthday uh, again I decided against the booster box uh, but I will try to come up with something uh, to do or to upload uh, come Monday morning or evening whichever you know whenever I get to it um, but anyway thank you guys for watching uh, thank you uh, for those that have been commenting and kind of taking the time to watch my videos uh, again uh, nothing special is coming out of this channel yet I'm sure uh, I don't have really subscribers that like one uh, and then for those that commented I'm trying to comment back as fast as I can and I, I do want to grow. I do. I do want to get better at this. And, and I know it's a, a, a process behind it. But really, I, this is a lot of fun. I'm, I'm happy opening up packs. Happy sh I'm happy sharing with them uh, with you guys. And again, as I've always mentioned, just this Pokemon community is great. And I just want to make sure that it grows and that I, you know, do my part to make sure that helps and that, that help to make it grow uh, and, and make it just enjoyable for everyone. So uh, thank you guys again for taking the time to watch and I will see you guys shortly in the next video. Have a great rest of the weekend.